Fox Weather's Robert Ray is on the ground in Jacksboro to give us a look. Robert, obviously, the last week has been really emotional for this community. What is, you know, the morale, the really thought as we head into tonight, as we could see yet another round of severe weather? Yeah, Bridget, people are certainly nervous, and you can see why. Look behind me. Uh, this is someone's front lawn. lawn uh, just a week ago, an EF3 tornado uh, swooped down through here. Uh, unbelievable, 150 mile an hour winds. And, and you can see there's just things all over. Uh, here's uh, a wheel off of a vehicle, a mattress piled up uh, behind me. And folks uh, are, are really not wanting another system uh, to come in. You know, it's amazing. Uh, no one lost their life and really only minor injuries, we are told. Uh, let me bring in the chief of police, Scott Haynes, uh, who has, has been so nice to, to come talk to us live on Fox Weather. Uh, chief, thanks for being on thanks with us. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, but gosh, you guys have been through a lot and you got another storm looming. How is the town doing? Uh, by the way, this is 90 miles to the northwest of Dallas, about 4,500 people here. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. We've had a great week. Recovery's been great. We're overwhelmed with support uh, from, from all over the country. And uh, we're moving along faster than what we thought we would. And morale's high. Uh, you know, after last Monday, this, this, this threat that we have tonight's not going to intimidate us. We're ready to go. We feel like that we've pushed out as much information as we can uh, about alerts and other ways to be notified. Uh, we've had uh, our two early warning sirens that were damaged last week are now up and running, so we're ready to go. Yeah, Chief, I mean, we, we look at some of the video, um, uh, even from today. I mean, there are spots when you drive on, it looks like the tornado just hit. But explain to people how much work you guys have actually done in the past week. It's, it's phenomenal, right? Well, with about 90 homes uh, destroyed, uh, you know, one major subdivision, two major schools, you know, our elementary and our uh, high school, both with significant damage. Uh, we've made a lot of progress. The, the meetings that I go through with our Texas Department of Emergency Managers and FEMA, uh, you know, th these are folks that respond to emergencies on a regular basis. And they're just uh, very, uh, you know, complimentary of the fact of how much progress this community's made in just one week. How is uh, everyone doing on the ground here? I mean, this is a, a small community. Folks know each other. Uh, you guys became a community in 1858. There's generations of folks here. Um, I mean, my goodness, what, what, what is the buzz? What's the collective feel here? There's just, uh, you know, a, an overall uh, uh, tight-knit group feeling here. It's, it's been that way. This is a resilient community. Uh, we're, we're strong. And, uh, you know, this thing has pulled us even tighter. So to, to, to say that we have this uh, potential storm coming in tonight is just not intimidating to us at all. We're ready to go, and we know we can take care of our folks here. We'll take care of each other, and, uh, you know, we'll wake up tomorrow and hit the ground running. If you get a lot of heavy rain, it's going to be a mess for a few days. But then again, boy, this area needs rain, right? We're Yeah, we're in dire need of rain right now. And, uh, you know, a, a little rain tonight may slow down some of our abilities to process some of the debris. But other than that, uh, we'll welcome the rain as long as we don't have any casualties or anything like that. Uh, no tornadoes. Uh, you know, it's just going to be another day for us tomorrow. Yeah. My last question for you, uh, your message to uh, the folks uh, who are in Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi that are going to be expecting the, really probably the strongest part of this system moving across. Uh, what's your message to anybody who is in, in that path? You know, just pay attention to the news media. Pay attention to alerts. Sign up for your local alerts. You know, when your emergency managers are tracking these storms and they're sending out alerts, it's very important because, you know, you know just as much as I do, when it comes to tornadoes, oftentimes there's not a long period of time to plan for these things. This is not like a hurricane. We, may, we had a few minutes to plan, and, and we had a great superintendent, a great elementary principal, and we were making decisions just real quick. And, you know, that was a building, the elementary school building, where we had 400 to 500 students. And uh, it just could have knocked out a large part of our population just with that one building. Unbelievable. I, I, gosh, g g great job to you guys. I'm so glad that no one lost their life in this Definitely. community. Um, as we all know, structures can be re replaced. Everything. Yes, sir. Yep. Thank you for being on Fox Weather again. Thanks for having Thanks, me Chief. on. I appreciate you we, guys. we really appreciate all your insight. Uh, guys, uh, they are preparing, as you heard the Chief, but they're ready for anything that comes. Strong winds even right now, 20 mile an hour plus gust, and that debris dust uh, going everywhere. Tough to stand out here. Bridget?
Fox Weather's Robert Ray alongside the police chief there. Great messaging, something, you know, a lot of people have to look forward to as we head into, you know, the next several hours and into the next 24 hours. Thanks so much. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.